Welcome back dear children. Let's continue our exercise. Exercise 14.1 page number 307. In our previous videos we have completed first four sums. Now let us move on to the fifth one. Look into your textbooks children. Always keep your textbooks and notebook with you. Now the fifth one. A letter is chosen from English alphabet. Find the probability of the letters being there are four bits children. Now, letters of the English alphabet. How many total letters we have in our English alphabet? The total letters that we have are 26. A to Z, there are 26 letters. Okay. Now, how many vowels we have? There are, what are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. These are vowels, right? How many? There are, how many vowels? There are five vowels. Yes. Now, what are consonants, children? Consonants. A, an alphabet which is not a vowel is consonant. So, that is B, C, D, F, G, H till Z. Apart from these. So, we can say that the consonants are 26 minus 5. That is equal to 21. Correct, children? Okay, we have written this. Now, the A part is in our A. They are asking, find the probability of the letter being a vowel. Probability of the letter being a vowel. So, what is the probability? How many vowels we have? Total number of vowels is 5. Favorable outcome is 5. And total outcomes is 26. Out of 26 alphabet, the probability of getting a vowel is 5 by 26. Is that clear children? Let's move on to the next bit. B bit. A letter that comes after P. Letter that comes after p now what are the letters that comes after p we have q r s t u v w x y and z yes these are the letters that come after p now what is it let us write numbers after p okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 letters after P. Now what is the probability of getting? We can write it as probability of H, probability of P. This alphabet can be anything. Okay. So what is the probability of getting an alphabet after P? Let me name it as P of B. Is There are 10 outcomes and total outcomes is 26. So it is 10 by 26. Which can also be written as? 5 by 13. Is that clear children? Okay. Now let's move on to the C bit. A vowel or a constant consonant. Now when we are choosing the letter from English alphabet, what is the chance of we getting a vowel or a consonant? It can be vowel and it can be consonant also. So let us say the probability of C is it can be vowel. How many vowels we have? We have 5 vowels. Or it can be a consonant also. How many consonants we have? We have 21 consonants. And total letters, how many total letters are there? There are 26 total letters. So the possibility of getting a vowel or a consonant is 21 plus 5, that is 26. 26 by 26, that is equals to 1. So the probability of getting a vowel or a consonant is 1. Okay? Is that clear, children? Now let's move on to the D bit. Not a vowel. Okay. What is the probability of V getting not a vowel? It should not be a vowel. Then if it is not a vowel, what is it? It is a consonant. And how many consonants we have? We have 21 consonants. So the probability of getting not a consonant, not a vowel is 21 by 26. Is that clear children? Please read the question. Refer the PDF. Watch the video and then complete your work. Are you all getting it? Let's move on to the sixth one. Total number of bags. 11 bags of wheat flour, each marked 5 kg, actually contained the following weights of flour in kg. Find the probability that any of these bags chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of flour. Okay, now this is the sixth one, children. We have 5 kg wheat bags. Okay, 
but then what is the amount of flour in that it is 4.97 5.05 5.08 5.03 5.06 5.08 4.98 5.04 5.07 and 5 kg now what is the question what are they asking us they are asking find the probability that any of these bags chosen at random contains more than 5 kg of flour we should have more than 5 kg of flour so how many bags we have like that this is more than 5 kg yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are seven such bags whose who have more than 5 kg of flour okay the bags which have more than 5 kg of flour so the probability of getting a wheat bag whose which have flour more than 5 kg is 7 out of how many bags we have in total 11 so the probability of getting a wheat bag which has more than 5 kg flour is 7 by 11 okay is that clear children complete your class work and don't forget to send me your pics thank you children